Hello and welcome to the Quick Schools Report Card Module Quick Guide for Teachers. In this video, we'll be showing you how to edit report cards by student, preview and print report cards, and edit report cards by subject. As a teacher, you'll be sent an email from your administrator containing your own username, password, and a login link to your institution's Quick Schools site. Use this information to log into your school's Quick Schools site. Now let's go to the Report Cards module by clicking the tab in the navigation bar at the top of the site. If you don't see a Report Cards tab, this means your site's administrator has not activated the feature. Talk to the school's administrator to turn this on for the school. The Report Cards page is divided into two sections, Report Cards and Subject Based. If your school administrator has granted you access, you may have more sections available to you. To learn more about these sections, watch the Report Cards module quick guide for administrators. Let's take a look at the Report Card section. The first thing to be aware of is to be in the right Report Card session. You will see the academic year, semester, or term that you are currently in, followed by the Report Card session. There is also a change link available here, where you can switch to the Report Card session desired. Notice the footnote that says, Report Cards are locked and read only. This typically signifies that you're looking at the previous Report Card session, which has been finalized by your school admin. When the action is taken, the report cards are no longer editable, but remain read-only. Now let's click on the change link. You'll now see a list of all active, as well as archived report card sessions, with the currently selected session clearly indicated in the report session name column. You can sort sessions by their creation date by clicking the header title. Search your sessions by either their numeric calendar year or report session name, and click the magnifying glass or hit return. Now select the session you want to work on by clicking anywhere in its row. We've now selected the report card session that's currently active. In the body of the report card section, you'll see a list of all the students in your school. You are allowed to view their individual report cards for the report card session you've selected. Now that you've chosen the right report session, let's take a look at the rest of the report cards menu. The students table is broken up into three sections, students, grade and homeroom, and subjects. If your school has too many students to display on one page, then repaginating using the gear icon in the bottom left may be desirable. By default, 10 students are displayed on each page, and a new page is added each time you exceed the set limit. To navigate between pages, just click which page you'd like to go to. To change the number of rows that can be displayed on each page, click the gear icon and choose how many rows you'd like to display from 10 to 100 to any number you choose. The students can be sorted by their name in reverse alphabetical order by clicking the student header. On the far right of the subjects column is a link to toggle the record to activate or deactivate. The activate link tells the system to turn on the report card for the student in that report session, and the report card will now appear in the student record. If a student should not have his or her report card created in that report card session, for example if the student came late to the school, then you do not want to activate the report card for that student. If you had inadvertently activated the student report card, then just click deactivate and you'll see the report card for the student is inactive and will not appear in the student record. You can search the students by typing their name or grade level into the search box. To clear the search and return to the comprehensive list of students, click on the clear search link under the search box. Now let's view, edit, and download a student report card by clicking on the student's row. Report cards in Quick Schools are extremely simple and intuitive to use. What you see is what you get. Quick Schools allows you to edit your grades directly within the actual report card that will be printed out. The report card is editable unless it's been locked. If open, changes can be made to the attendance, marks and grades, and comment sections. Quick Schools dynamically displays the subjects that the student is enrolled in. Simply move your mouse into a subject field and manually input your information. If you are using the gradebook module and have set the final grade in the gradebook, those grades will transfer automatically to the report card, which can be seen here for the computer science and composition grades. You can also override the gradebook marks at any time. Note that red dashed lines will appear under any manually modified grades. If you want to preview the finished report card or download it to your hard drive, click on the appropriate link at the top right of the screen. Let's preview the report card. Clicking Preview opens a new window in your browser containing a PDF version of the finished report card. Clicking Download will automatically save a PDF copy of the current report card to your hard drive for your records. 
When you have made all the changes necessary to the record, click on either Save or Save and Close. Clicking Save will preserve your progress at any time, while clicking Save and Close will do the same and then return you to the main report card screen. To download multiple report card records, select the checkboxes by the students you want to include and select Download from the drop-down menu. The report cards from the selected records will be compiled in PDF format and zipped in a single folder marked Quick Schools Report Cards. Note that you will only be able to download as many records as appear on the screen. What if you want to view and edit grades one class at a time? Let's go to the subject base section and show you how. First, select which type of report card and for which term the report cards are being listed. In the drop down menu, select the subject you wish to submit grades to. A list of students enrolled in the course will appear, along with their marks, grade, and comments. You can use the full screen option to maximize your window for easier viewing. Click the icon again to return to your previous display. Existing marks and grades will automatically appear for any student whose grades have been entered into the gradebook for the course. If marks are missing in the final grade calculation formula, the grade will be registered as incomplete. To make changes to the fields, Simply click on the relevant cell you wish to change and type in your new information. Remember that red dashed lines will appear under all manually modified grades. You may also enter notes or comments for the grade by simply typing them directly into the comments section of the table. Add or edit any additional information and click save when done. We hope you enjoyed this chapter of our quick guide. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us by either using the live chat bubble in the bottom right of your screen or emailing us at support at quickschools.com.